Welcome to this quick break. I wanted to talk about my off the field resource guide. These are the five tools that I use to be able to help players be able to grow their mindset and their mentality. If your player is one of these players who struggles with mindset, mentality, confidence on the field, these are the tools I use for the players in my program. If your player is looking for something to be able to grow their game, to be able to grow their mindset on the field, but also off the field, go ahead and check it out. It's going to be on www.tfsoccertraining.com forward slash mindset. I wanted to record part two of this video. Last video, you can go ahead, check that out. It'll be in the description box below, or if you're listening on podcasts, you can go ahead and check that out. It's our previous episode. Wanted to be able to talk a little bit about the referee shortage. Unfortunately, because of environment, because of sports parents' behavior, and also coaches' behavior, a lot of referees are, are leaving the game because they're tired of it. They're fed up with the, the environment, the culture around youth soccer. So wanted to talk about, talk today about how we can best turn the tide. One of the ideas that really sticks out to me is the idea that you can change the world by changing the world around you. So one of the things that I want to do is help educate parents about, about this issue. Unfortunately, when you start out in your soccer journey, you kind of fit into what the culture and environment may be. Hopefully, as people learn, as people grow, and they become more experienced, they realize that that isn't appropriate behavior and that they, become, they can become a better sports parent. I want to give you three things that you can do to be able to help turn the tide on the referee shortage. Number one, and I know I said this last week, it bears repeating, please do not yell at your ref. Again, most of the time, they are young kids. If you're at a U10, U11 game, it may be somebody who's 16, 17, who's just doing this because they love the game and they wanted to get a job related to soccer. But guess what? They A lot of them end up getting out because of how refs were handling the game. I'll never forget when I was that age, refing youth games. And I think I was even refing younger. They were probably six, seven. And there were things that the <laughs> parents would say to me were ridiculous. I'm like, your kids don't even know what's going on most of the time. Half the time there were kids sitting on the ground, but uh, parents still were yelling and harassing me for no reason. Now for me, I did that probably for one season and then I was done. I, I was out because I didn't, I didn't want to deal with that nonsense but can't say anything nice at all, just shut your mouth and, and don't say anything at all. I actually saw a post not too long ago about somebody saying, bring some sort of candy, put it in your mouth, and so that you won't be tempted to say anything. I think that's the best way to go if you have nothing good to say to the ref. The second thing I would do is show some appreciation. I saw this in the end, another post online, this person brought a cooler full of food to refs, filled with salads, sandwiches, snacks, different things, fruits, nice cold water, and brought it to the refs and said, thank you so much. In fact, they also put a little handwritten note in there as well that just let them know how long it had been for their child since they had last played. And they are so grateful for what those referees are doing. So I say that to you, go out of your way to bring something. Even if you don't, if you forget to bring something, maybe uh, go up to the ref and say, thank you. We appreciate what you're doing and just give them a nice cold water bottle or maybe a nice cold Gatorade or something to that effect. Just let them know that you appreciate all the things that they are doing for the game because without them, your child's not playing a game. And then finally, the last thing that I would say is, Go out there and learn the game. Go out there and volunteer to be a ref. Take one of the classes. The classes, I think usually, even just to get your bare minimum referee license, are it's pretty easy. I think it's maybe a four hour class and you take a test and then you 
you are allowed to be a referee. Nothing that crazy. And again, I say start by refing youth games just to see what it is that is going on in the game. Instead of just understanding it from a parent's perspective, you can understand it from a referee's perspective. You will have a greater appreciation, a greater understanding. And I think if you do that, it will, like I said, it will help turn the tide on what, what is an unfortunate problem. So I ask you do those three things. Number one, you go ahead, stop saying anything to the referee. Don't say anything at all. Bring a piece of candy, pop it in your mouth. Number two, the second thing that you do, go ahead, show appreciation. Bring a nice note, bring some water, bring some Gatorade, bring some food, give it to the ref, let them know that you appreciate it, all right? Just start by at your next game. And finally, number three, go volunteer to understand what refs go through. Volunteer, get your referee license, even if it's your bare minimum one, get that referee license so that you can, so that you can know what refs go through. And I think if you do those three things, it'll help turn around the tide on, on the referee shortage. Understand that they are human, but also understand that this is something that they're doing because they love the game. And if you are not appreciative of them, unfortunately, we might get to a point where we don't have enough refs to play, play soccer games. So go ahead, try to do your part.